all right hello guys trench forge armory and today uh i was given a kiln or i have uh the school that i attend uh their kiln this one broke and i was like and they were throwing it out and i was like hey i will take it for all of the fire brick which is what all of this is so i've got a bunch of new fire brick and uh it's this very like pithy material that is super breakable and very frustrating to work with so a lot of these bricks broke as you can see here uh, like they did on this one and I'm gonna pr I, my plan is to process all the broken ones not these which are fine but all the broken ones into bricks like this and these are these are former almost exactly the same as this um, except they're flat on both sides and so the way I'm doing that, I've got a bunch of little broken bits that I'm going to process here. The way I'm doing that is with a wooden bow saw, well, a wood bow saw, and a very hefty wire brush, uh, which would be in any blacksmith's toolkit. Technicus Joe did a video about these, uh, about how they basically polish out the surface of your metal and make it much finer as, compares, as compared to the thinner wire brushes. And I agree with him. And these work really well on a fire brick. They, they dust away all of the all the stuff so i'm going to process these uh bricks here these three and these couple and just show you how i do that all right so there are a couple types of fire bricks this is the first kind of fire brick um this type of fire brick or the, well there are classes of fire but not really kinds i don't really know much much about the kinds of fire bricks but they're all beveled on this edge and they're all broken on another edge and they've all got this kind of grainy or this uh, ridged material in the middle. Some of them are better than others in that this this is, is much flatter. And what I do is with the bow saw, I go through and kind of shape down this a little bit and cut off excess. And then I go with my wire brush and I brush it like so. And that takes this flat back. That gets that flat back to flat. But there's this uh, this jagged edge and I take the bow saw again and I go back through and I carefully cut out the material and then I go back with my I clamp it between my legs go back through or clamp it against the leg Really wire brush it down. And I, I do I do linear passes because all the bristles are in the same direction. So I do a bunch of linear passes. And that leaves these grooves. And then I do one uh, diagonal pass. Not moving diagonally, not like this, but down at, a, at an angle. Like so, that really kind of smooths it all over. Uh, and in this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this edge back to square. So again, I'm gonna go slightly against it in this diagonal direction, pushing it diagonally, so that I get a maximum cut. And you want to go you want to go with you want to go to the highest spot with a wire brush. With, the, with this method. So if, if there's a high spot over here, which, which in this case there is, uh, you want to you go to it. And you want to apply pressure down when you're on it. And then the facing press. There you go. That's done. There you go. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.